My name is Brian Tully. I'm the founder, inventor, president of a company called Low Mutech. Uh, we invented a product called Dust. Dust is a soybean-based product that replaces talc and graphite. We started out in 2018 with uh, going nationwide with the distribution and marketing of our product. Prior to that, we had spent six years in developing the product to replace a talc graphite replacement called eFlow, an 80-20 blend that we really liked how it worked on our farm, but we didn't like the residue that it left as we were using it. So we wanted something that would perform the same or better. And in this case, we have a product that actually gives us some additional benefits uh, to the farmer that we can actually work with and show uh, the fact that we're gone from the soil profile and we perform in the planter and we allow the seed to perform better as well. There's a couple of things that we ran into when we introduced this. Number one, um, the education of, of how to use the product and why we use what we use. We spent a lot of time talking to the farmers about why do you use talc and graphite? Um, a lot of the times the answer was, well, when I bought my planter, it told me what I had to use. And so we went back and spent time with Kansas State University looking at why the product worked the way it did, uh, what the actual product did in the planter as well as to the interaction with the seed to the soil. And we realized that our soy protein product gave us some benefits that we didn't see before. Uh, that it still gives us singulation and lubricity, but it also gave uh, the protein uh, an incentive to the seed to go ahead and grow and to see some increase in, in root activity as well. Um, we introduced it the first time uh, because of demand. We needed to figure out a way to get product out as quickly as possible. And so some of you may have seen a brown bag like this with a sticker on the bottom of it like that. Um, we went from zero to a thousand miles an hour and there was three of us trying to do the fulfillment. So we had it manufactured for us and shipped to us in a brown bag. And real quickly, I got feedback that these brown bags, even though they're plastic lined, don't respond real well to shovels uh, being thrown in the back of a pickup. And if I'm investing money in something, I want to have it when I get to the edge of the field and be able to use it. And so we moved from that to uh, going, trying to go to something that was a little better. Many of you started with us at that point. Our, our coverage went to many states really quickly because everybody, when they had the opportunity to use something that was better than talc and graphite, wanted to move to that. We tried to learn from that. And so we moved from a paper bag to many of you have seen a green pail floating around that once again, uh, we went to uh, a better indication of it. It was 11 pounds. Um, it was a more sturdy packaging, allowed us to go. We then put more instructions on the back side to help you on the usage rate side. Once again, a lot of words during this planting season, you're not going to take a lot of time to read them. Uh, and so this was a step up, but it was not the ultimate place we needed to be. We then moved to a pail, a big square pail like this, to a 14 pound of it. And we started doing something that saved everybody grief and time. We included a simple red scoop. This simple red scoop allowed you to take a scoop of our product and to apply it to two units of seed, corn, soybean, 100 weight of uh, wheat, uh, cotton, peanuts. We're on 22 different crops right now uh, that were used as far as row crop agriculture, as well as being in the production system in greenhouses. By making this simple change and then by going to pictures on our label instead of words, that helped in a couple of different ways. Number one, it made it really simple. I didn't have to read. I'm only using this one time a year in most cases. And so then I could pull that back out again and be able to make the adjustment and be able to remember, oh yeah, I need one of these for every row unit or I need one of these for every two bags I'm putting in the center fill. That's a good place to start. The other thing that we didn't do a very good job of in this transition from the bag to this green pail is let you know you can adjust it however you need to. Uh, everybody thought that um, a little does a little good, a lot will do a lot of good, and that's just not the way our product works. Uh, our product was designed, as we said, to replace the 80-20 product, which we all knew was a low use rate. We're actually about a half to a fourth of the usage rate of your tout graphite with this product as well, because we don't blow out of the, the planter. And so it's still in place when you need it to be there to help everything grow. And so this simple red scoop helped us to get onto more acres and to get to be able to inform a lot of the people about what they should have been doing to begin with. Unfortunately, 
there is a large percentage of the folks that experienced us in the first three years that we were out that either used it from a brown bag or a green pail. If you have either one of these still on your farm, call us. We'll exchange it to our current product and our current pail at no cost to you. So in the, in the development of any product, you learn things and you learn as we develop uh, ways to market the product, but also ways to use it so that we were more comfortable with telling you exactly what to do. This 14 pound pail uh, can do uh, over 450 units of, of seed. And so in corn, that could actually get you up over to 1,100 acres. And so that gives you a very long life of the product and gives you the ability to use it in a lot of different ways. And so that's what we've done. The next thing we did was to make sure that we could give some way that you could touch and feel the product. And so we came up with these little sample bags. And the reason we came up with the little sample bags, and some of the first ones were actually clear with a sticker on them that my wife and kids and I would sit in the, the dining room and fill, or my uh, bookkeeper's family would sit and put stickers on it and we would fill them and send them out because we wanted everybody to understand how it would work. And the fact that this one ounce of this packet would do up to five acres of corn. It's a simple low use rate product. So from this 14 pound pail then we transitioned to the next, next generation of our packaging. We went to a seven pound pail and a one pound container. And we changed to make sure that uh, we had folks that were smaller acre farmers. We got to the East Coast and we wanted to be able to match up what their usage rate was because like I said, the 14 pound pail gave us up to 1,100 acres. The seven pound pail obviously would do the 550. And what we saw after we developed that was there really was no demand for the smaller pail. Uh, nobody wanted uh, that, that small of a pail. But they did want us to change from this pail with this lid, which in some situations could actually bring moisture in, uh, to a pail that was more closely resembled what they had seen uh, with their top graphite product. And so we were able to actually uh, participate with a company that had these pails that allowed us to move to a flip top lid and to develop these one pound packages to replace the seven pound pail. And the one pound package was designed because it would actually fit into either a 50 unit corn box or a 40 unit soy box and allow you to treat per one box per bag. And so we started out with the green ones uh, with the label attached and then we moved to a pre-printed bag which gave us the ability to do a better job once again of explaining to people that are only using it once a year how to actually use the product and to give you a little more detail about usage rate. And so we've developed and we've moved forward and we've learned and we've tried to expand as we've moved forward on how to use the product, what it looks like, uh, how it acts, how it reacts, and to give it a bit longer shelf life. What we've seen with our product in these packages, many of you, if you still have these on, on your farm, they've turned into a brick uh, because they've actually, the air's gotten in there and it's made, made it uh, not, be, not be airtight and it gets solid. Uh, obviously, if you've got it and you open it back up again, you can loosen it back up and reuse it. But like I said earlier, if you have any of these left on the farm, either the green pail or uh, the paper bag, please let us know. We'll replace them and visit with you about the new products we're developing and we're, we're bringing forward. We are trying to make sure that we continue to innovate. And the next things that we've done is actually take dust then to deliver. And this is in response to the questions we had our first year that we came out. What are you going to put in it? And so we've introduced products into the, into the product, into our dust, a uh, new leaf product called Terrasim into either a soybean or a corn variety. And even in these situations, on whenever we started out with them, we started out with a one, one particular package, but we learned very quickly that we could change that packaging as well to more closely re resemble what you're actually doing for usage and to be able to continue to innovate. So we're bringing out more and more products with that so we can make sure that it continues to show and provide the benefit to the farmer, to your, your end user, uh, a benefit uh, of the growth, uh, the potential that you can have. Because dust doesn't kill the biology, we actually can extend the shelf life. So by introducing products such as what we call Dust Plus products, the Dust Plus products allow you that don't have a liquid system on your planter to still participate with the biological market that's going on. And as that continues to grow, you'll see uh, new innovative products coming out from us in the spring of 2023 
as well as moving forward, you'll see those increase as well. So we want to make sure that we have those things still working as we move forward. I wanted to explain a little bit about how we got here, kind of what we're doing, what the packaging looks like, and how we've progressed through as we've learned a better way to develop and deliver the product and to let you know that usage rate is key with this um, because we, we are so used to using a lot of product to do the job and with our product you just don't need that.